Who needs to step up? Who do they need to step up and, and uh, you know, meet the challenge that's ahead of them? Zadarius is the one who's underperformed the most, right? Two and a half sacks at this point. We thought he'd be an eight to ten sack guy. Um, he hasn't even been close to that number. He needs to, you know, step up. And I think the biggest issue for Zadarius isn't that he's not getting pressure. I think he is getting pressure at a pretty high level. The issue with him is he's missing a lot of tackles this year. I think his missed tackle percentage is like over 30 right now. Um, and when you're missing tackles, but you're getting pressure, what you end up doing is creating lanes on the outside to scramble out of or to throw out of or to run out of. You end up creating more problems than it's worth if you're getting pressures and missing tackles. So he's got to just get a more solid grasp, make those tackles, turn those missed tackles into sacks, and then he'll be fine. But that's been the big problem with him. Yeah, the, the other thing is, is um, you know, the, it's been uneven play with the linebackers the last couple of weeks as well. You know, you, Russell Wilson kind of kind of killed him against uh, with his legs um, against the Broncos. And then, you know, there were there were plays where they got gashed in the run game again um, against the Rams. Yeah, I think that has a little bit to do with it. But honestly, I think it's just one on ones. You just got to win on one on one like you're getting the one on one looks you want as a defensive line. Um, you know, the linebackers, they can help out a little bit. And I think the JOK has had some moments where he's helped out. I don't think that the secondary or the linebacking room is why you lost against um, the Rams. I think it's strictly down to you just did not hurry Matt Stafford in any way. You didn't get pressure on him. You didn't make him hurry up at all. You didn't get you just did not do a good job against him defensively from that defensive line. I think if that defensive line's clicking, if they're winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, everything starts to click in place. And you're like, oh my goodness, everything's so good. The corners, all this stuff, all that's gonna be good. But if the defensive line isn't winning those one-on-ones that they get because of Miles Garrett, then it's gonna look like what it did. Because when you run a lot of man coverage, nobody's gonna be great if you let them hold the ball for three and a half seconds.